The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is taken from the second letter of the Apostle Paul to Timothy. Before God and before Christ Jesus, who is to be the judge of the living and the dead, I charge you, in the name of his appearing and of his kingdom, proclaim the message and, welcome or unwelcome, insist on it. Refute falsehood, correct error, give encouragement, but do all with patience and with care to instruct. The time is sure to come when people will not accept sound teaching, but their ears will be itching for anything new, and they will collect themselves a whole series of teachers according to their own taste. And then they will shut their ears to the truth and will turn to myths. But you must keep steady all the time. Put up with suffering. Do the work of preaching the gospel. Fulfill the service asked of you. As for me, my life is already being poured away as a libation, and the time has come for me to depart. I have fought the good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. All there is to come for me now is the crown of uprightness which the Lord, the upright judge, will give to me on that day. And not only to me, but to all those who have longed for his appearing. And our response is from Psalm 71. My mouth is full of your praises, filled with your splendor all day long. Do not reject me in my old age, nor desert me when my strength is failing. As for me, my hope will never fade. I will praise you, Lord, more and more. My lips shall proclaim your saving justice, your saving power all day long. I will come in the power of Yahweh to tell of your justice, yours alone. God, you have taught me from boyhood, and I am still proclaiming your marvels. For my part, I will thank you on the lyre for your constancy, my God. I will play the harp in your honor. O Holy One of Israel. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. In his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to walk about in long robes, to be greeted respectfully in the market squares, to take the front seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at banquets. These are the men who devour the property of widows and for show offer long prayers the more severe will be the sentence they receive. He sat down opposite the treasury and watched the people putting money into the treasury. And many of the rich put in a great deal. A poor widow came and put in two small coins, the equivalent of a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, In truth I tell you, this poor widow has put more in than all who have contributed to the treasury. For they have all put in money they could spare. But she, in her poverty, has put in everything she possessed, all she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord.